Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. If you're not really happy with your life, maybe you think a change would be good. So many of us fall into the trap of thinking that changing our jobs, changing our appearance, or changing our environment will make us happy. But that's just not true. All of these external changes may temporarily improve your life, but none of them can change your life. None can make you truly happy. You may move around, you may change cars, you may even change jobs, but you know what? Wherever you go, it's the same old you. Isn't that right? It's not that your circumstances or your surroundings need to change. It's your heart that needs to change. It's your heart that needs a new birth. The Bible is pretty clear when it talks about our hearts. In Jeremiah 17:9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. The heart, according to the Bible, is not good, which means your heart needs a spiritual change. I'm not talking about a resolution, promising to the better, do better or live better. I'm talking about a revolution. It's something so radical or dramatic that it's like beginning life all over again. It's a new beginning. It's an inward change. Your heart undergoes a spiritual transformation when God takes it and transplants it with his love and his heart. So my challenge to you is to let God transform your heart. Realize that no external change can truly make you joyful or fulfilled. Only a heart transformed by God's will. So let him create a new beginning in you. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. According to a, a Greek legend, in ancient Athens, a man noticed the great storyteller Aesop playing childish games with some little boys. He laughed and jeered at asking him why he wasted his time in such frivolous activity. Aesop responded by picking up a, a bow, loosening its string, and placing it on the ground. Then he said to the critical Athenian, now answer the riddle, if you can. Tell us what the unstring bow implies. The man looked at it for several moments, but had no idea what point Asip was trying to make. The moralist explained, if you keep a bow always bent, it will break eventually. But if you let it go slack, it will be fit for use when you want it. So it was with us. Our minds and bodies are like the bow. When constantly under pressure of everyday life, we can eventually break. We need to loosen up. We need time to take the pressure off and relax. Former baseball pitcher Dutch Leonard might have put it a little differently. He once said that the secret of great pitching is not speedy or the ability to throw curves. It's the change of pace. The average batter will soon learn to hit a pitcher who continually throws the same kind of pitch. But it's hard to hit against a pitcher who changes the pace of delivery. That change of pace gives a pitcher the edge over the best of batters. A change of pace likewise gives us an edge in life taking time to watch the clouds, enjoy a breeze, take a walk, read, or just slow down is necessary if we are to be our best later. And the regular day of rest is as important as regular sleep. It's a way of taking the pressure off. To be your best, make sure you change your pace. It may just be the change you need. Let us pray together, my Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can 
and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as he did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever. Amen. Thank you.